Hello. Hopeless. Happy day seven. This is being recorded super late because it's actually like half past, almost seven o'clock actually, on uh, day seven. So I'm going to record and then edit and then hopefully put it up this evening. But if not, you're going to get day seven and day eight together. Um, and I'm just going to grab some water. So today's prompt is about values and the prompt is my values are because um so my values are ever evolving I would say to start off with because I do think that having really really strong values it's very similar to kind of having a really strong sense of self as a human and if you have that then you'll be golden. Um, and that's, that's probably very simplistic. That is very simplistic and problematic in many ways, but I didn't have a very strong sense of self growing up. And I was literally that person who stood for nothing, so felt for everything. Um, had a lot of shame and didn't really didn't back myself. And that's just because, you know, I had parents who were part autocratic, part, um, part, I don't know. My dad was quite autocratic and my mum was anxious and she didn't really stand for much either. So I think because of that, I just grew up with a not a very strong sense of self and a strong belief in who I was as a person um so it took me a really long time and now my automatic reaction I think when I feel vulnerable is to question myself and I'm positive that quite a lot of women have that same experience what you can hear is the sound of chopping potatoes for mashed potatoes um, which is what I'm having for tea tonight mashed potatoes and uh vegan sausages from Iceland who I love (laughs) anyway I don't know if this is ASMR I don't think it is but um if you're into it (laughs) Uh, maybe this will do extra well because (laughs) because of the sexy sounds of chopping potatoes anyway um yeah so some of my values come down to um really trying to own who I am oops sorry that is not a sexy sound it's the sound of a pot um and I suppose that's why I mean it's ever evolving because I as I learn stuff my values then change and more values are added on and some values are maybe pushed to the side I suppose my values when I was traveling were much more about being free and um, exploring and they were much more, I don't know, I don't know what they were really. Um, But now my values are much more rooted in authenticity. And one of my core values as a business owner and just as a human is that I believe that being honest is the most important thing um and because I sort of preach honesty even when I feel uncomfortable with being honest like for example if I sold no courses I would tell you about it um for example my SEO course which is almost half price and I promise this isn't like a way to just sneak in (laughs) a little ad but it's half price and then it's and then I decided completely on my a gut reaction I decided oh I'm gonna close it because I just don't want to run it anymore um I've only sold two two that's it and with PayPal charges and stuff like that I won't get that money until February anyway because of teachable how teachable work and I'll probably only be a hundred and 120 pounds <laughs> if I'm lucky So there's a bit of honesty for you. Uh, And that leads me into another value, is that I believe in doing some good in the world, if we can, and that's going to look different for everybody. So 
a reason why I decided to close the SEO course down was because I was helping people who might be growing traffic to their blog um, and not do anything good with it which might sound really pompous and a little bit trite but hear me out so if so I put a chapter into the SEO course very early on which is about why do you want that traffic do you want because I don't believe in just you know get rich quick schemes and things like that um and I think a lot of courses the, a lot of the reason why we as humans we buy courses and things like that is because we want to do take a shortcut um which is totally fine me included I definitely do that I've definitely done that in the past and I've def- I will do that in the future but and especially with SEO when you're a new blogger you know that you've got to do something with SEO you don't know why um and you just need somebody to show you the way. In your head, you might have an idea that you need to grow your traffic to a arbitrary number. You have no idea why. And I put in the chapter about why do you want this to give some real solid examples of what these numbers might mean. Um, but that I realised that actually what that might mean is... Perhaps, you know, let's call them Mary. (laughs) They're not a real person. Perhaps she has decided, gone through my course and thought, yeah, I want to grow my traffic to 10,000 a month and I want these exact people to come to my website because I want to monetize through shop style and the affiliate links I'm going to be using are fast fashion links and that's where I want to make my passive income from. That's why I want to grow my traffic and optimise um, for search engines. Now, actually, that really doesn't sit well with me because I don't believe in fast fashion. I think it's super harmful um, and it's not something I want to promote. I don't judge people for buying fast fashion because there's a million and one reasons why people are forced to buy fast fashion and buy cheap clothes. Um I'm not judging that. But for me, for my part, it just feels really inauthentic to be, on the one hand, saying to you, I will never tell you what I'm wearing unless it's a an ethical um, item. But then on the other hand, I'm making money from people who might be making money through, for, you know, affiliate links and in fast fashion, the sponsor posts and brand collaborations and all those sorts of things. So... That's kind of the re- one of the main reasons why I shut the SEO course down. And believe me, it wasn't a, <laughs> an easy decision because it kind of was an easy decision. It was an easy decision because I went with my gut. But then the month after, or like a few weeks afterwards, I noted my accounts and was like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> that wasn't a great thing to do financially. Because <laughs> I've just lost, you know. A massive chunk of my income, um, like five, six hundred pounds a month, <laughs> is what I'm shutting down. Uh, and somebody actually offered to buy that they wanted to buy the course, buy the course content. But when I priced it up, I couldn't see a way that I could sell it without charging thousands and thousands of pounds. And then what am I doing? I'm just passing it on. I don't know. Is that's not very ethical. So, I don't know. So I suppose that's one of my values, or it's one of my values in action. Um, Another one of my values, and I'm so working on this, is to try and be inclusive. I really want to be living in a world where we're all questioning things all the time, even when it's uncomfortable. An example of this is, and I fail at this a lot, I promise you, I fail at it all the time, um... And an example of this recently is that I am, I follow a sort of platform for ethical writers. In fact, it's called Ethical Writers. And I'm and fairly recently following them. And you know on Instagram when you start following someone new and you just get bombarded with their stuff. Anyway, I noticed that everybody was white. And I suddenly thought, 
I want to be part of this ethical writers group. But not one person on this platform is looks like me. Um, and in fact, above and beyond that, there wasn't a there wasn't a fat person. Um, everybody looked able bodied. And I don't know about the LGBTQIA representation either. So I messaged them to say, um, I love your I love your work, but I've noticed that um, you don't amplify the voices of any women of colour. Um, and actually, their response was super thoughtful. Um, it wasn't defensive at all. And they invited me to apply, which I have done. That is a small way that I am trying to live my values of making sure that I am being inclusive. Another way to do that is um, make sure that anywhere where you have like guest bloggers or podcast guests, you are being representative. Now... I'm going to admit to you that up until series three, the most recent series, I didn't have, I'm almost positive I everybody was white. I mean, and that's embarrassing given that I'm not white. So I suppose you could say, hey, I'm covering, I'm covering off that side by <laughs> being diverse myself. <laughs> but that's not how it works. Um, and so in se- series three... I really tried to make sure that they, I, it was a bit more representative without shoehorning um, kind of in a tokenistic way. But actually, you know what? Sometimes you have to do that and you have to shoehorn in because if you aren't living a very diverse life, then you've got to start somewhere. So I'm going over 12 minutes now, so I might shut up. <laughs> But these are some of my values, how I try and live them. I'm sure I will have forgotten a lot of stuff, but bloody hell, that was a big prompt (laughs) to cover off in 12 minutes. Anyway, I love you all. Make sure that you're tagging things. Also, if you do want to buy the SEO course, it's £65. It will be gone at the end of December, so get it while you can. Just go to um, the link in my Instagram bio or lucyducroft.com forward slash courses and you'll find it there bye